guys, it's Shannon. And Animal Jammin' Paul. <laughs> animal Jammin', yeah, I like it. That's right. So today we have brand new Animal Jam adopt a pet figures. These are the Eclipse a Limited Edition series. Whoa. This is really awesome because we just recently had an Eclipse. An Eclipse. Leave a comment if you stared at it. Don't <laughs> stare at it unless you have special glasses. Yep. Luckily it passed. We're not going to have another <laughs> Eclipse for another eight years, I think. And then after that, 100 years or something. Okay, so you guys are in super duper limited edition luck with us. Because yep. today we have these really cool like bluish purple and yellow little Animal Jam houses. Yeah. There are, it looks like, 24 in this series to adopt. Today we're going to open the whole top layer of this box with you guys. So look at how cool this little house is. Yeah. Or den. It's awesome. It is awesome. Okay, so let's see. That is really cool. It is really cool. Oh, I love that little den. Okay, I'm going to dump all our stuff out here. We're going to take a look real quick at the checklist. Okay. Ooh, oh wow, they're all going to match the dens. Nice. Look for the pet with a special unlock. Who's that? I don't oh, know. Oh, right here. Ooh. That one's super special. Sharp jinx. Yep. So, okay. So that's the checklist. You get the code that you can use in the game. And I like on the back, it uh, does tell us yeah. who we have. So this is Hyper Sky. The element helium was discovered during a solar eclipse in 1868. Huh. It says, did you know? I did not know that. Uh, I had no idea about that. We have an accessory. It's a little metallic silver leaf. Or flower. Mm -hmm. It's a little flower. Cute. There you go. Hyper Sky. Very cute. Okay, so you opened up a blue den and got a gold pet. I want to try opening up a gold den. See if you get a blue pet? Yeah. Hey, look at there. You did. I did. I wonder if that's how it's going to be with all of them. We're going to find out. Okay. I have a Whoa, peacock. Oh, nice. Very cool. This is silver chip. Solar eclipses can only be seen from a limited part of the earth. That, that is, is true. That's interesting. And this little guy comes with little uh, opera glasses. Oh, there we special go. Special eclipse goggles. Yeah, special. <laughs> that actually makes sense. There we go. Peacock with eclipse goggles. Very cute. He falls down. He does. Well, I'm going to twist those glasses. There we go. He still, he falls, still down. falls down. <laughs> yes, he does. Okay, next one. I'm going to open a blue one. Okay. And I have a yellow animal. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. You can put them right there. I'm going to have to lean them up against the box. Okay, so we have Sharp Jinx. Air Sharp Jinx. temperature will drop during a total solar eclipse. Wow. And that's the special one, right? Sure is. So let's see. Where's... It's hard to see where the little hole is it for the is. accessory. Aha, here it is. There you go. He has wings. Nice. Sharp Jinx. He must have had a Red Bull. <laughs> okay. Very cute. All right, gold one again for me. Okay, let's see who we get this time. Well, it looks like I have a larger animal. Oh, oh, I have a bear. That's a panda. This is Shimmer Tot. During a total solar eclipse, animals change their behavior. That is true. I saw a bunch of animals acting very strange during the eclipse. Yep. Very cool. <laughs> Little tiny wings. It looks like a panda bear, but it maybe does. it's not. I don't yep. know. During total solar eclipses, panda bears grow wings. And fly? And fly around. That way they can get the bamboo that's high up in a tree. Yeah, I don't think that works that way, Paul. It but does. thanks for playing. No, it does. Okay. So this is my first yellow house. We don't have panda bears in the U.S. That's why we don't see that. We do at the zoo. Yeah, it doesn't work at zoos. Oh, just out in the wild? Yeah, in the wild. Okay, so here is our pet. 
This is a Shady Paw. Shady Paw. Brighter planets are visible in the sky when a total solar eclipse occurs. Ooh, nice. So, Shady Paw. And where do your little wings go, Shady Paw? Why am I not seeing a spot? Oh, I don't see a spot either. <laughs> I don't think Shady Paw has a spot for his wings. Maybe not. Huh, that's strange. I'm not seeing a spot anywhere on this. Okay. All right, I'll I'm going to open looking. a blue house up. Oh, wait, I found it. Did you find it? I found it. Good job, Shannon. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Good job. Whoa, I have an elephant. Bye. There's a big elephant. Here's the little elephant wings. Cute. The elephant's name is Honey Gal. Humans began recording eclipse observations about 5,000 years ago. That's a long time ago. I wonder how many eclipses have been recorded since. Ooh. That's a good question. Okay. Next up. I like these. They come out of the... Yeah, they come out easy. Out of the den easier. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we lost my accessory. Uh-oh. This is a shady sky. The average number of total eclipses per century is 68. Wow. So there's kind of an answer to your question. Yeah. So, a shady sky. Flying cobras. I don't want flying snakes because flying snakes sound terrifying. That's how they get up in high tree branches. That's how they bite the panda bears that are This flying. is a really cool Animal Jam figure, though. That is a neat figure. Okay. I love these blue houses. Yep. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Figure's gone. Here, I'll open one. Go okay. hunt yours down, and Thank then you. <laughs> we'll we'll do yours next. It went flying across the room, guys. I don't even know if he knows exactly where it went. I don't. It hit the light or something. I heard it hit. <laughs> okay, so my character is awesome. Look at this little gecko or chameleon. This is Zippy Sky. Strange shadows may be visible during a total solar eclipse. And we have a little ladybug accessory. Just like in the Animal Jam logo. Super duper cool. Oh, there's also a bow here. Maybe the... Yeah, the bow came with Paul's. Yeah, the bow came with mine. At least you have the bow. I have the bow and I have the card, but I don't have the figure. Well, that figure. It was awesome. Trust us. Yeah. It was this. Yeah. A little ducky. A little ducky. Okay, I'm gonna have to look for that more later. But in order to keep the video going, let's just keep opening. Usually that doesn't happen to me. Usually don't have things go shooting across the room. And yeah, I was looking at the bag, not where the figure went. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be Starry Song. Ancient Greeks recorded solar eclipses. Here is Starry Song. Looks like a raccoon. Nice. A raccoon with a wizard hat. Awesome. Yep. I love that accessory. I do too. Wingardium Liviosa. Okay, this is already my last one for this video, guys. I get to finish with a really cool blue house or blue den. Let's see who my figure is. I'm going to use the scissors so I don't shoot my figure. Yeah. Good These idea. bags really pop. Okay, here I have a turtle. Turtle. This is yellow scale. Total, total solar eclipses will be visible in the United States in 2017, which we just had, mm -hmm. and 2024. Yep. And in 2024, you might see a flying yellow turtle. Yeah. <laughs> but probably not. Probably not. Okay, my last pack is going to be an awesome blue one.
I got a great animal. And look, you even kept it. I know. That's even better. Okay, I have oh. a pony. I actually thought it was a unicorn when I saw it. The pony comes with a butterfly on its head. Oh, very cute. Isn't that cute and adorable? That is Warm Wisp. Any point on Earth may see only one total solar eclipse every three to four centuries. Wow, that's amazing. So there is Warm Wisp. Okay, these are awesome figures. I love the little habitats that they come with. Here's our animals. There's my peacock leaning back there against the box. It's a little bit hard to see. And my invisible ducky. <laughs> oh, that's going to be my favorite. <laughs> yeah, traveling ducky. All right, Shannon, who is your favorite going to be? Stay right there. Of the people that um, we have. I'm going with Shady Sky, Shady Little Skies, Cobra. The Flying Cobra. Wow, yep. I'm actually surprised that's going to be your favorite. I am too. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go right there with your gecko. What is his name? Zippy... Zippy Toes? Zippy Sky. Zippy Sky? Mm-hmm. All right, Zippy Sky, the blue gecko. I like the blue ones better than the yellow ones, personally. I like but both. I think they're both cool, but I like the blue ones just a little bit better. How about you guys? What was your favorite animal today, or what do you like better, the blue or the yellow? Leave a comment down below and let us know. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up button and hit the share button so your friends can see the video, too. And maybe they can tell me where my ducky went. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.